please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. It's a historic day for the valley. The center has ordered for a suspension of operations in Jammu and Kashmir to ensure that citizens have a peaceful Ramzan. While the army has issued a rider that they will retaliate if attacked, it's a significant move that will hopefully help bring in peace in the valley. And now we have the biggest newsmaker of Jammu and Kashmir, Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti, who has spoken exclusively to Mufti Islam. Listen in. Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Mahbubah Mufti has the toughest job in the country. But today she feels vindicated because Centre has announced a ceasefire. Ma'am, your first reaction, congratulations to you for pursuing this. Well, I think, you know, it is uh, something, uh, the credit should go to the people of the state and uh, all the parties who participated in the all-party meeting and there was a consensus was built on this that there has to be cessation of operations by the forces, especially during the month of Ramadan so that people feel a sense of relief and I'm, you know, thankful to the Prime Minister Modi ji and also the Home Minister Rajnath ji for taking, you know, personal interest uh, in uh, this and, uh, you know, making it, uh, you know, uh, making this uh, cessation of uh, operations possible. Uh, Ma'am, uh, they've announced it for a period of Ramadan, which is one month. I'm sure that you would like it to be extended because Amarnath Yatra is taking place. Well, I hope there is a positive response from the other side. You know, the Pakistan should also think about it in the same way as a holy month of Ramadan so that people should get some relief. Even the militants, you know, should uh, give a positive response. We are, I, I mean, I hope that there is some kind of positive contribution on Pakistani side and on the sides of, you know, from uh, militant side so that there is a full-fledged, you know, cessation of hosti host uh, hostilities from the both the sides, on both the sides. And people, you know, this, this, there is an end to this bloodshed that has been happening for so many years now. So uh, a lot depends on the other side also. I know that you have been pursuing the army, the, the police also as head of the unified command also to kind of hold fire and not go aggressive. But clearly, uh, this is a huge step. Will it have impact on the ground if militants also agree? Although there is also this sad news which is coming that apparently Lashkar has re re rejected this. Well, see, this is something for the people, you know, of the state to think. You know, if there is a, you know, stoppage of uh, operations on the on on from the side of the forces. So if the militants still continue to attack, that means you know they don't want to end this bloodshed. That means you know. The ball is in their court now. Now, what's going to be their response? Because if they uh, don't stop it, if they don't, you know, response or uh, receive this uh, this um, unilateral cessation of operations uh, from this side positively and still continue to, you know, attacks, uh, then uh, it's very unfortunate for the people of uh, my state, you know, who are getting killed each and every day, and it will, you know, will not have the desired result that we are looking for. Young and educated boys joining militancy, is it a cause of worry because these kids, after all, you know, when there is an encounter, they get killed also. Although I know that police is trying to make them surrender. That was a policy under your government. Any local boy, any young boy, whether he is educated, whether he is illiterate or he is, uh, you know, employed, you know, joining militancy is a cause of worry for us because ultimately we lose these kids to the you know, uh, to the violence. So I don't know mother. I mean, I'm also a mother of two daughters. So no mother would like to see her kids getting killed like this. And, uh, you know, we hope that this this uh, step of from the central government today to stop these um, uh, military operations for this month of Ramadan has a positive impact. Pakistan has a huge role in this because they, after all, are a party and they have apparently links with militants also they could perhaps play a hand in this. Would you make an appeal to them yeah, also? I would definitely appeal, make an appeal to Pakistan that let them, you know, contribute positively in this, you know, uh, this uh, decision that has been taken by the government of India. Do you think that if, you know, peace prevails in the valley, the next logical step would be perhaps to hold a dialogue, a whole process of dialogue? Let's take one step at a time because I think it's too early. Let's see how this, you know, step uh, taken by the government of India, you know, what kind of response we get from the other side and also how much we are able to restore the confidence of the people.
one step at a time. That's what the Chief Minister of Jammu, Jammu and Kashmir has to say. Let's not forget that this secession of operations happened in 2000 as well. How will it be playing out this year? Will militants actually stop terror activities? The fear is, will it lead to regrouping of terror groups? Joining us now, Junaid Mattu is the spokesperson of the National Conference. He's joining me here in the studio. Lieutenant General Atta Hasnan is a strategic affairs analyst. Najmu Saqib is a member of the PDP. Sayyid Babar Qadri is a lawyer. And Mufti Isla is Jammu and Kashmir Bureau Chief, who got us that exclusive interview. General Hasnan, would you say that this is the wisest confidence-building measure that the Modi government can offer to the people of Jammu and Kashmir at this point in time? Uh, Maria, thank you, first of all. I am uh, confident in what I'm saying that, yes, this is definitely a very, very good step which has been taken. It's got the backing of uh, all the political parties in uh, Jammu and Kashmir. And while there were apprehensions about it at the center and the media reports initially indicated some degree of negativity, hmm. I'm glad that uh, all that is behind us and actually a positive step has been taken. But I would like to offer one major comment on this. I am still very apprehensive about the understanding that exists in the environment about what step has actually been taken. That's right. People are all imagining that this is a ceasefire. This is not a ceasefire. It is a suspension of operations, as the Chief Minister has correctly said. In fact, it is a suspension of offensive operations. In fact, you'll be surprised. Most people who are not aware that the army actually carries out far more activities during the suspension of operations than it does even in normal time when it ca is carrying out its operations. All domination, intelligence operations and everything continues. Counter infiltration will continue. The only thing which will not happen is the targeting of terrorists <laughs> in the form of offensive <laughs> operations such as cordon and search or search and destroy operations. For example, if you find that a terrorist goes past a put army post hmm. and is not carrying weapons, we will not take any action against him. But if there are armed terrorists who are op operating and openly flaunting their weaponry, obviously action will be taken against them. So there seems to be some apprehension in the environment as to why this step has been taken without understanding that this step is probably the most positive step which has been taken in hmm. sending home a message of peace to the people. I only wish that the announcement had also taken catered for the Amarnath Yatra right at this point itself. Hmm. General Hasnan, would you say that army chief, what he has said that how will the security forces right to defend be uh, guaranteed? You know, that is a misplaced apprehension. Maria, I think, uh, that may be a misplaced apprehension in the minds of the environment outside. That is not a misplaced apprehension in the minds of the soldiers or the army chief or any of his officers. We are very clear. When it comes to the security of our men, that is a priority. And at any time, we will always operate to ensure self-defense and the security of our men. Okay, Sayyid Babar Qadri, would you ensure that the kind of support that is given to stone pelters by separatists will also stop so that this entire secession of operations is actually a success and that there is peace in the valley during the month of Ramzan? Madam, I am very much surprised with the statements, uh, rather clarifications given by uh, Chief Minister Mahbubha Mufti ji, uh, and now uh, further interpreted by uh, Major General uh, Hasnan Saab. Uh, I don't know wh what is this. Is this suspension or it is still uh, a confrontation or it is a ceasefire? Whether uh, there is in the history uh, an event like this, that ceasefire or suspension of operations are announced on media without uh, having any, uh, you know, that uh, homework, uh, without having any hmm. track to diplomacy. I'm surprised uh, with this. So you kind are of saying that Najmu Saqib say should defend that. Najmu Saqib, so the first gentleman sitting next to you says that you have not done your homework and that it is only a media announcement without preparations on the ground. 
uh, will marry and let's not get swayed by the semantics of the whole thing. Uh, this initiative is uh, uh, the acceptance of the pain of Kashmiri and the circus of death that has been going on for too long uh, and, and understanding and, and continuous per pursual by the Chief Minister Mahbub Mufti and Delhi has also agreed on this particular page. But this is a small, this is a step towards uh, confidence building measure and, and the withdrawal of democracy that was happening. We need to resuscitate and rejuvenate the political process in hmm. Jammu and Kashmir as well as at the same time a dialogue process needs to be initiated uh, which can go parallel uh, between uh, Delhi and Srinagar as well as Delhi and uh, uh, Pakistan to a very considerable extent if we have to. So the momentum is being built, uh, there are a lot, there's a lot of groundwork that is happening around uh, we the, there is honesty from from government of India as, as was displayed today uh, by the statement that was issued by Home Minister of India. So I think this this needs to be built upon. There are a lot of as work a small needs to happen ray of more, light. But I think there needs to be some honesty from the other side as well. Ha, so this is perhaps a small ray of light after multiple bleak summers. Well, sure, you can't definitely, actually dismiss definitely, it. Definitely, uh, we, we, definitely. we did uh, it is, welcome uh, I, I mean, demand. Uh, we have we tried in hard measures. There were a lot of. Uh, sort of uh, uh, policies that were adapted last year. Uh, we saw the results of it. Uh, so the, so, the, so the way that there is this uh, continuous recalibration of approach, as we can say. So uh, a forward momentum is being built upon. We appreciate uh, Dr. Farooq Abdullah's statement praising uh, Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti for her continuous pursuit. But will of, it actually uh, of, of lead to de-escalation on ground? Will it actually lead to de-escalation on ground, Mufti Isla? You are there on ground. Well, will you, will, well, one moment. Let me get Mufti Isla on this. Mufti, would you say that this kind of measure, yes, it's a goodwill gesture, but if it's not reciprocated, then it it doesn't really appear as a goodwill gesture. Let's not forget that what has happened in the case of amnesty that has been given to first-time, um, you know, stone pelters, offenders of that kind of a crime. So, you know, that has backfired. Do you think this kind of measure is a welcome move and particularly that is coming in the month of Ramzan? starting tomorrow look for this you need to really engage pakistan because pakistan directly or indirectly controls the militant outfits who operate out of pakistan occupied kashmir and uh, clearly if you don't have them on the board uh, this is not going to prosper but for that you really need new delhi to reach out to islamabad and get them also on the board hmm. apart from the Hurriyat leadership which is also uh, which can play really an active role in this. Uh, that said, uh, this is a huge step uh, uh, as of now, but needs to be really contributed uh, by people on the ground, that is militants, and also uh, by Pakistan. And Delhi really needs to engage with the separatists out here, the stone pelters for that matter, Will that be as also reach out to Islamabad. Will that be because, because what happens on the ground, I can tell you, hmm. what happens on the ground is that, you know, uh, since last year, uh, the army and police together have been able to kill some 250 militants. But what is happening on the ground that 300 more have joined. So it's kind of a zero-sum game. And unless, you know, you reach out to all these, uh, you know, uh, uh, players, uh, peace will not prevail in the valley. And if, for example, uh, peace really uh, prevails, uh, given that uh, although Lashkar has really uh, said that uh, they're not going to agree to this, uh, but... Uh, you know, if militants contribute towards peace, then you will have really okay. the next process, okay. which Musaakim. is the dialogue, uh, which which really will help. You know, Mufti Isla, they're saying that this is perhaps the first step. What should be followed is uh, a well thought out strategy, which which should also include engaging with separatists. Has that been even thought about by your government and the government at the centre? Are you open to that idea? Well, I think. Uh, well, I think uh, this is uh, our agenda of alliance is very clear about uh, things that, uh, and we really uh, appreciate. We really appreciate uh, in the uh, uh, all party meeting, all political parties accepting that uh, that agenda of alliance is a solution to to a lot of problems, and, and it is a solution. Uh, so uh, there we go. I mean, we uh, there has to be. I mean, we, this is just a, uh, this this is just a step that we have taken in the in right direction. So response uh, from the other side has to be. Uh, they also have to take into account because this is a pro-people major. Yeah. It's a holy month of Ramadan. So people need some really respite, some respite from, from killing and, and Besides relief to on. the residents. Well, I mean, that, it, it's too early to say. 
we do welcome uh, the announcement of the cessation of uh, operations. I mean, let's not forget and what happened in 2000. Yes, with the whole you know, Majid Dar episode. And you and were there in government with Mr. Yes. Vajpayee in the center yes. and it led to escalation. No, I mean, the, the, the ceasefire wasn't followed through. It led to escalation, but uh, we are forgetting that there was a reciprocation mm. from a faction of the Hezbollah Mujahideen. Uh, but, but that couldn't be followed on in the years after that. Uh, it is a welcome development in so much as that this could be a first step uh, for the central government and the state government to realize that a purely operational and military approach to Kashmir is not yielding any results empirically and politically. Uh, you know, I, I heard the chief minister say that, you know, one step at a time and this could be a first step. But the fact of the matter is uh, that more than three years ago, uh, she said that I'm forming an alliance with the BJP on some uh, basic promises, uh, dialogue with Pakistan, dialogue with Hurriyat, uh, engagement with stakeholders. Uh, so I don't think that three years later she can come back and say one step at a time. She's already three years late. Hmm. We welcome this move, but if this perhaps it's uh, coming too if, late. If this cessation is going to last for 30 days, what after Ramadan? Uh, we have seen that there is no clear reciprocation from the other side. It would be hypocritical of all mainstream parties uh, to suggest. Uh, that if the militant organizations don't reciprocate, that is somehow justified. Okay. If they don't reciprocate, okay. then fact, it is not a ceasefire.